Hey guys, I'm Amrad and you have probably already noticed one problem when it comes to items. That when you rename an item here in a database, it won't get uh, renamed in your model viewer. Because model viewer doesn't use your database, it isn't connected to service database. It uses its own local database in here in a US folder, this items CSV file. So it uses these names for items and if any item is not in this database, Model Viewer won't be able to even show you that item. It won't show you that item in lists of items which character can equip, for example. And that's quite a problem. So if you create a new item in database, you need to create that in that CSV file as well in order to make it work for your characters if you are creating NPCs or whatever else. Yet another thing, if you create your item in a database, but you don't create it in item DVC as well, well, it won't work. It will, uh, it will use just question mark as icon. It, will, it, it won't work for spells. It won't work for, uh, let's say, abilities. Uh, there are abilities which require melee weapon, but if your World of Warcraft doesn't know that item from DVC, it won't be able to tell, okay, my character has a weapon in hand, and you won't be able to use weapon which is only in database but which isn't in DVC for performing melee abilities, for example. So you need to keep your item CSV and item DVC up to date with your database. That's quite tedious and no one will like this. Uh, it's quite inconvenient. So how to avoid this? How to generate it by some sort of generator? Well, I have uh, written a script for this, but there is one catch. There are items in Blizzlike item DBC which are not in Blizzlike uh, item uh, database. Uh, which items? Well, for, for example, Night Elven, Sentinel, uh, Glaives, or Frostmourne, or Shield of Gnome King, and, and other things. And are quite cool stuff, because when, uh, I, when some NPC holds an item in its hand, and that item is actually taken from item DBC, not from item template database. So the first thing you will need to do is to get your item DBC up to date. Uh, if you have created any items, add them into item DBC. If you have changed any items, change them in item DBC as well. So your item DBC is up to date. Uh, then we will want to make sure that we won't lose any NPC items. So you will take your item DVC and you will convert it to CSV either by using WDBX editor or I will use just to make it quick now DVC to CSV converter by Monoman, which is quite old. I can't really recommend uh, using it, but for this it usually works. I will just take a look. Okay, my file isn't corrupted, so I can use it. Uh, so let's use it. Let's use item DVC to DB and you need to use this tool only once when you have created a new project or something like that when you are creating a new database from this like database you will want to use this script once and then you don't need it you need it at all anymore. So we will choose I, our item DVC CSV file as input file and host will be our database IP address. So in my case, it's my local address because I'm using my local test uh, database. Enter your login and password. I will connect to my Word test database because that's the database I'm using here right now. And that's it. Item template uh, table is the same port. We will leave default in our case test connection it works so insert data so now it will take every single item in item dbc and if it doesn't exist in our database it inserts that item there you can use it for example also if you are creating new items you can create a new item in dbc and then insert its default version into your database but i think it's more convenient other way to create new item in database and then uh, get it to DVC. So now we've got all items which were in DVC but were not in database inserted into database. So let's take a look. Item template. And as you can see there are some Z 
DBC to DB generated items. So these are just default items. It has just taken all data from item DBC and the rest was left default. So you can browse these items and you can rename those you like and you can give them stats and so on. You need to do this obviously by hand. But they are in database. You can use them. Somewhere between those DBC to DB generated items is Frostmore. Somewhere uh, are Night Elven Glaives and so on. So you probably definitely want to browse them because there is some cool stuff there and some useless stuff as well, obviously. So all these NPC items are now in our database. And now when we will generate DBC based on the database, there won't be any items missing. That's important. So now Anytime we would like to create some item, we would just add it into database. Anytime we would like to edit some uh, item, we would edit it here. And we wouldn't touch DBC at all. So now let's say that you want to update our item DBC and items CSC files. Well, we will run client item, again, enter host address, so in my case, local address enter username and password we will connect to word test or at least i will in my test in my case test connection okay get data and it has created items uh, or item dbc csv file so i can just again i would use uh, wdbx editor but let's say just use quickly this one and as you can see, it has generated my DBC again. So uh, this I've got my DBC here, but it is up to date. It is completely up to date with database. So if I have changed anything in database, it is now changed here as well. And here is my items CSV file. So I can just insert it here. And I can now run my model viewer. And before, all items which weren't in my database were missing in model viewer. All items I have renamed in database uh, were not renamed in my model viewer. Well, now my model viewer is up to date. So if we open some character, you can get here and here you can see all generated items. As you can see, there is a huge amount of them actually, but we can just browse them see if there is anything we like what maybe wasn't existing before even and we can rename those items and use them i think that's quite great and yet another thing if you rename some items now you will have them renamed here as well you will have this up to date so those are my two scripts as I, like i have said already item dbc to db you will want to run it once and as first to make sure that you won't lose any npc items that you will get all your npc items into database and if you want you can then afterwards some use some of them if you like any some of them and then you will just once upon a time once per time you will just run client item to get up to date item dbc and item dbc csv file or uh, items CSV file uh, to keep your model viewer and item DVC up to date with your database. You don't need to edit those files by hand anymore with this program. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this tool was useful for you and that this video tutorial was useful for you and happy modding.